What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use range selection tool to set your left and right locator, right? So if this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notification, smash the like button and share this video to all your friends, all right? So let's get started. When I'm working on a large project, sometimes I want to go to a different section and for example, a chorus section and I want to loop it around while I'm doing the editing, right? I find that using the range selection tool to set the left and right locator is really useful. Let me show you. But before that, let's enable that function first. I'm going to go to edit, go to preference and I'm going to click on this cycle follows range selection and hit OK. Okay, once you enable that, you can use your range selection tool to, se to select any section of your song and your left and right locator will be set, right? Okay, now I'm going to select this part of the track, right? And now, all I have to do is just press 1 and hit OK. And once I'm done editing this section of the song, I can go to other sections, or maybe to the end here, maybe the outro. So I can just use the range selection tool now to loop this part, and press one. So it will basically just keep looping until I've done all the editing. This is very useful. And of course, as always, you can set a key command to functions like this. So let's go ahead and dive into that. I'm gonna go to edit, and go to key commands okay in key commands you gotta go to preference let's find preference so it's preference yep okay, this is the preference okay now you go to editing under editing you go and select the cycle follows range selection tool okay uh, currently there are no hotkeys assigned we're gonna assign one okay, now I'm gonna press alt shift and I Currently, this shortcut keys is not used or assigned to any of the function. So I can use this shortcut, right? So I'm gonna hit assign and hit okay. Right now, I'm gonna, since it's already enabled, right? I'm gonna disable it. So let's press Alt Shift I. Okay, now I've deactivated it. I'm gonna select this range here. And if you notice, the left and right locator is not set for this section. So let's activate it again. Alt Shift I. Now you got it. This is one of the most useful function, especially when I'm editing a track. So if you find some value in this video, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notification, smash the like button, and share this video to all your friends. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.